Hey, candy canes and bowling lanes. Good news, everyone. It's finally socially acceptable to be celebrating Christmas! Hey everybody, my name is John, and welcome to ADITW, A Day in the Word, the internet's favorite Bible study. Ooh, that one was aggressive. You know that person who is always waiting for an opportunity to point out where you went wrong? Hey, uh, what time is it? Uh, it's like 6.30. Aha! It's 6.32. That's sort of what the Pharisees do to Jesus all the time. And in the chapter that we're going to study today, these teachers of the law are following Jesus around, just waiting for him to screw up in the slightest way. And at the beginning of Matthew chapter 12, they catch him. Or at least they think they do. Let's read Matthew chapter 12 verses 1 through 8. So here we find Jesus and his disciples on the Sabbath. That day off. Oh, whoop, whoop. And the men are growing hungry. So they literally bend down and pick up some grain from the field that they're walking through and they begin to eat it. And the Pharisees call them out right away for this, saying, look, your disciples are doing what is unlawful on the Sabbath. <laughs> and to be honest, the Pharisees kind of have a point here. In the Old Testament, in the books of the law, we read God's very specific instructions regarding no work on the Sabbath. But these disciples aren't working, right? They got hungry, so they picked up some stray corn off the ground. Aren't these Pharisees getting ridiculously worked up over a technicality? And that's the discussion that ensues between them and Jesus over the next couple verses. Jesus here uses two narratives from scripture in which respected individuals are doing something that is unlawful on the Sabbath. And then he quotes this verse from Hosea saying, I desire mercy, not sacrifice. Now, is Jesus saying that the law doesn't matter and we don't have to pay any attention to it? No. What we're seeing here is the fundamental difference between what the Pharisees believed the law was for and what Jesus knew the law was for. We've all met that one Christian who is all about the rules. You better not curse. You mean you only tithe 9%? How could you go to that Saturday service? Sunday's the only true Sabbath. And while this person may be following all the rules correctly, they often do it at the expense of loving others and they're missing the whole point of the law in the first place. The commands that God gives us in scripture were never meant to just be a checklist to where if we can cross off all the 10 commandments, then we're definitely getting into heaven. The law is calling us to something much, much bigger. Because actually, it's pretty easy to just blindly follow rules. And the principles that God gives us in his word require far more from us than just blind rule following. They challenge us to change our habits, to change our heart, so that we can start to become the type of people that God wants us to be. You could think about it like this, that the law is not about telling us what to do, but about teaching us who to be. God instructs us to tithe 10% so that we will become generous people. God commands us to take a Sabbath so that we will learn to rest and to trust in Him. And while all these disciplines and rituals are important, if we follow them in the wrong way, they can actually become a stumbling block if we're not careful. Have you ever noticed that so many Christians would rather debate minutia than actually spread the gospel? They'd rather argue about politics than meet the needs of others. They'd rather fight about the theology of tattoos than go and serve the poor. We would rather spend our time engaging in legal debates than actually pursuing God through Jesus. You see, the law was not given to us to tell us how to be right, but to teach us how to do good. 
This is the point that Jesus is making when he says, I desire mercy, not sacrifice. He's saying that human needs, the needs of your brothers and sisters, take precedence over your regulations. The law does not exist so that we can feel really good about ourselves for following all the rules, or to make other people feel bad when they don't. The law exists almost as a gateway drug to start becoming the person that God created us to be. By cultivating the disciplines that it teaches, we will slowly start to become the type of people who don't just sit around debating what's right and what's wrong, but who actually engage in the world to serve and meet the needs of others. Mic drop. Thank you all for watching another episode of ADITW. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope it was convicting, inspiring, empowering, enlightening, edifying, whatever word you want to choose. I hope that's what it was for you. If you did like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Also, if you haven't been paying attention to the channel, you don't know that I am starting a brand new channel. It's called Jorgen Fam. Sweet Bear and I announced it just yesterday. You can still subscribe to that channel. It's just gonna be our new vlogging channel. It's where all of our vlogs are going to live. A Day in the Word and other types of sermon videos, they'll still be on this channel, but all the vlogs are now gonna be on Jorgen Fam. So if you haven't subscribed, you're gonna get an opportunity in like three, two, I love you all, keep being awesome, one, go.